Hello friends, in today's video we're going to go over the best builds for Walking Wake and Iron Leaf, the new terror raid event that is happening right now in Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So as of recording this video earlier today, the new Terror Raid event went live with two brand new Paradox Pokemon, Walking Wake, which is Paradox Suicune, and Iron Leaves, which is Paradox Verizian. We covered all of the details on the event itself on the channel already, so I'll link it up here if you want to check out all of the details for the den itself. But now we've had a bit of time to play around with this raid event, we've got some builds to feature for you to make it easier to go in in your games and beat these Pokemon. And as always, all of the Pokemon that we feature in today's video will be in the description so you can have a more detailed look if you'd like all of the details outside of this video. So kicking off, we're going to look specifically at Pokemon to beat Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves is probably out of the two Paradox Pokemon in this event the more difficult because it is the only one with a boosting move, i.e. Swords Dance, whereas Walking Wake doesn't have any way to boost its own stats it does have rain dance of course but then iron leaves does have electric terrain which kind of boosts in the same sort of way so this pokemon we're going to look at is bombardier and it is the new flying and dark type pokemon now to really get the most out of this pokemon you need to have a dark terror typing on it once you do terrestrialize with it you've got to be careful around those mega horns but otherwise dark is the terror typing that you want I just don't have the terror shards yet to change it and I'm in the process of doing it. But to get the most out of it, go with the dark terror typing on Bombardier. Now the item that we're using on this Pokemon is gonna be the electric seed because at the start of the battle, Iron Leaves is always gonna set up the electric terrain, meaning in turn, you're gonna be able to activate your electric seed and get a defense boost. And because it is predominantly a physical attacker, it's gonna help you take those attacks a lot better. The move set for Bombardier is gonna be Roost, it gives you a line of recovery, which is nice, especially with that defense boost that you've got. Leaf Blade is a problem. It can critical hit, so it can do a lot of damage, even if you do resist it. Then we've got Feather Dance, which reduces the attack stat by two stages on the Iron Leaves, especially in an online raid help support partnering Pokemon and this just helps support you even if you're going in and soloing these Pokemon yourself. Nasty Plot is a way for you to boost up your special attack and damage output and Dark Pulse is the main attacking option on this Pokemon. 252 HP, 252 special attack with a modest nature and we have the ability Big Pex here and there isn't much conversation to have with what alternative abilities would be more beneficial. Big Pex seems to be the better one out of the three that it does have access to but because Bomber has got that flying type and it is the dark type it does resist a majority of moves from iron leaves and the only thing that you're going to really get hit by hard is going to be the the mega horn but you do have the feather dance to reduce the attack output there it is a low accuracy move as well and you also have that defensive boost that you're going to get from turn one from the electric seed so bombardier a really nice option the next option that we've got is volcarona and i think volcarona again another good pokemon but again you're going to have to change that terror typing to bug to probably get the most out of it when you do terrestrialize you're going to resist the bug type attacks and you're going to resist the grass type attacks obviously you're going to take neutral damage from the psychic type attacks so that is something to worry about but with the ability flame body there is a good chance every time that the, the iron leaves hits you it can burn itself so if it gets burnt that is brilliant for you it's going to cut its attack stat 50 percent in half meaning you're not going to take as much damage we've got the move set of morning sun quiver dance bug buzz and will-o-wisp will-o-wisp another way to burn it if you want it is a filler you can put something else in there reflect would have been ideal but there is no reflect in its move pool Quiver Dance lets you boost up your special attack and special defense. Not that that really matters in this raid, but you've got Morning Sun as well as a line of recovery. And then Bug Buzz is going to be your main attacking option. Modest Nature again, 252 HP, 252 special attack. And that is the Volcarona with the Shell Bell. So you can get a little bit of recovery when you do hit those damaging attacks. Now the best Pokemon I believe going in against Iron Leaves for any raid solo or online and, and particularly online. I've been doing this raid online and it is particularly annoying when players aren't bringing Pokemon that resist any of the attacks that are coming out from Iron Leaves and it does mean that the raid goes away quite quickly. On the back of this, if you use Forest Stress, it resists everything 
that the Iron Leaves can throw out at you and it can support your team members so well. It's got huge defense as well, so it's gonna be able to take hits from Iron Leaves, even if it's got a sword stance under its belt really well. The EV spread that we've went for is 252 HP, 252 attack. It's got a huge defense anyway, so we don't need to worry about anything else. Got sturdy as the ability and the move set is gonna be reflect. That helps support you and the rest of your team. Curse, it helps you boost your attack up. Ice Spinner is an interesting one because it allows you a way to remove the electric terrain off the field once it's set up, which is really useful. And then Bug Buzz is your main attacking option with the bug terror typing on there. And like I say, I think out of everything that we've got, Forest Stress is the best option, in my opinion, going in against Iron Leaves. So this is the one I would build. This is the one I would use if I was to do this raid over and over and over again. But especially online, it will make it easy depending on your opponents, of course. Now getting on to Walking Wake. Three Pokemon we have to feature here. Belly Bolt gonna be one of them. It is an electric type attacking Pokemon. It has the electric terror type. Shell Bell is the item here. That can be interchanged for a, a Expert Belt or a Life Orb if you want just more power. And then we've got the moveset of Thunder, Rain Dance, Acid Spray, and Slack Off. Electromorphosis is the ability on this Belly Bolt and a EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack. A great option against Walking Way. Gonna make easy work of it. It's bulky enough to be able to take the big damage in attacks like Dragon Pulse and the Flamethrower if you do get hit with them. The Rain Dance is nice though to reduce the damage of the Flamethrower of course and just to remove that sun from the field as well. Acid Spray makes sense because you're going to be able to hit through the shield, reduce the special defense on the Walk and Wake by two stages every time you use it. With the Rain Dance up it means Thunder is 100% accurate, it's a very strong attacking move and electric move so you're going to be doing a lot of damage with it especially when it's coming off the boost from the Electromorphosis ability. But that is the Belly Bolt, a really nice solid option going in against Walking Wake. Next option is going to be Meow Skorada. It was the first Pokemon I took in against this Pokemon and I think this build is fine to go in against it. You don't need to do anything special. It is a similar build to the one that we used against the Pikachu, the 7 star Pikachu. Uh, but this Meow Skorada holding the Expert Belt, Grass Terror typing uh, with a EV spread of 252 HP, 252 Special Attack. And with that HP investment, it does allow you to take the flamethrowers a lot easier from the walking wake so that is a big option for you there with this ev spread or oh, ability gone overgrowth uh, you could go prankster if you wanted but if you're using the dark type attacks it can be a little bit dodgy because you really want that grass type in to be able to resist those water type attacks a little bit better move set is going to be fake tears for reducing the special defense stat on that walking wake giga drain gives you a line of recovery as well as a good stab option nasty plot gives you a way to boost your special attack up so you can do more damage and then when you're in a position when you're terrestrialized you've got a few nasty plots under your belt just launch off the frenzy plant and you're going to be able to pick it up from half, half hp easily so that is the meows garada and probably the best option i think going in against walking way one that's not going to give you any troubles at all is lorantis shell bell is the item of choice here terror typing is grass and then move set is going to be synthesis for a line of recovery rain dance to get rid of the sun on the field giga drain it means you've got another option outside of leaf storm leaf storm is your main attacking option but it's low pp if you can't get rid of the walk and wake in the time that you have used all eight Leaf Storms then at least Giga Drain gives you another option to fall back on as well as an option to do damage and gain recovery back at the same time. So these are the moveset for Lorantis. We've got a Modest Nature and then 252 HP, 252 Special Attack with that Contra ability, which is the most important thing out of everything on this set. Leaf Storm, of course, drops your Special Attack by two stages, but because you've got Contra and that flips around any drops, then they become pluses. So you're getting plus two every time you use it, making it easy to kind of set up and sweep. And just an example for this video, I'm gonna show you how good Lorantis can be going into this ring and how easy it is to use against this Pokemon. Of course, you can only catch these Pokemon once per save file. So once you've caught them, 
it really doesn't matter about going in because the item drops unfortunately aren't that great i think this event isn't really about the item drops or any bonuses with item drops it's really all about the pokemon and these being new pokemon to these games exclusively available through these terror raids it's all about just going in and getting them and i hope the builds that i've give you make it easier for going online and doing them uh, with just random people because it can be a little bit frustrating i do understand that but i think especially if you are a scarlet player going online to do the iron leaves i think we got the raw end of the stick here because i feel like that is the harder one uh, but something like fortress will make that so much easier for you so turn one with lorantis just set up the rain dance here you can take the the dragon pulse pretty easily there but the nice thing about having the shell bell as well um, on top of everything else, it feels like a bit excessive, like we've went for too much recovery here. But the nice thing is we're recovering health all the time. So we're never really in a bad spot where we are going to be getting knocked out potentially by anything that the Suicune, uh, sorry, not the Suicune, the, the Walking Way can throw at us. See, the Shell Bell does give us a nice line of recovery just outside of having to rely on something like the Giga Drain. And of course, if you've got something like Arbolivia next to you with that grassy terrain, it is going to boost your attacks every time you launch them out. So you can see here, this is going to be a very quick, quick raid. I mean, even if you go online with the Lorantis, like this build is going to just absolutely dominate the Suicune or the Walking Wake. Sorry, I keep calling it Suicune. I do like the design of it, but I am just blinded by Suicune. Not used to it. It's so new. Um, but you're going to be able to have an easy time with it. And the nice thing about being able to boost while you are attacking is it doesn't take too many turns before you're able to terrestrialize yourself and uh, really start gaining some momentum here here's a third leaf storm what's this one going to do this puts us to plus six so the next one you can see it's really only going to take four turns if we don't get our, um, our stats dropped by the walking way and there we go we can click in with that leaf storm and it's kind of weird in in a week we've covered two terror raid events and both of them have featured a Lorantis. One's a Pikachu and one is against the Walking Wake. I mean, granted, both are electric type attack, uh, water type attack, so it makes sense with the full Lorantis, but I never thought we'd be playing Lorantis so much in these Terror Raid events, but here we go. I do like it as a Pokemon. And there's the last one, easy enough. And like I say, you're not really going to have any issues at all if you use this Lorantis build against this particular Pokemon. It is going to be as easy as that. So that is everything that we wanted to cover in today's video. Like I say, the Forest Stress is probably Probably the best option against the iron leaves 100% hands down I don't think there is a better option out there I would love to hear though if you've got a better way to deal with it I just feel like with the resist that it's got it's easy to set up it's hard to knock out it's just gonna sit on the field and just chip away at it you've got ways to boost yourself up with curse to maximize your damage it's got everything that you really need going into a more trickier raid even though these raids are a lot easier than our seven star raids and then Lorantis like I say you should have it built if you've used it in in the Pikachu raid den so you just need to change a few moves on its moveset and you're going to be fine going in against both of these new paradox Pokemon that appear in these terror raid events if you've enjoyed today's video please drop a like it does massively help out the channel and do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all of the latest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news terror raid events and terror raid builds and stuff like that thank you for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye